Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. As you can see, we're getting ready for Christmas, as well as all the special baked goodies and treats and things that we love to prepare. And, oh, actually, a lot of people look forward to Christmas, for Christmas. But it's not on the affordable health care list. You're going, what? Well, you know, unfortunately, a lot of things are banned or are off the list, like all these special things that we love to have because, oh, you might enjoy it too much, and that could harm somebody, especially if they're peanuts. And sugar is bad for you and all of them. Oh. You're taking away all the fun to make some of these things worth living for, huh? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, actually, they think that uh, they're okay. Here, the thing is, they're, they're the one agreement now on virtually everybody, including Democrats, that are now scared for their jobs is that the President of the United States has completely destroyed the health care system. They said the insurance companies are toast now. Because the Republicans are not going to give them tens of billions of dollars to fix the problems that Obama did. They said he may have wrote the thing, hit it in there, that he will cover their losses. It's not going to happen. You're not going to get Democrats in the Senate or House that are losing their, that have a possibility of losing their seats. Say, well, we're going to have to substitute. We're going to have to have a single payer now, and the government's going to have to. The, now because of what the government has done to the insurance companies, that will put more than five million people out of work. We are going to have to subsidize insurance that no longer works. So, mm -hmm. no. And the Republicans, basically, their plan to sit back and do nothing isn't going to work now because the health care system is now destroyed. And the president, oh, well, here's what it was. Democrats have this weird idea, especially socialists, that people are going to like what they did so much they're going to just flock to them and, and worship them. The problem was he hadn't counted on six to eleven million people losing their stuff before the system got into place. Oh, they would do that? Yeah. And once again, Obama blames the Republicans for his problems. Oh, God. I mean, this guy said yesterday that, uh, you know, uh, the, he called it the, was it the lunatic fringe of, the, of one part of one party is trying to destroy this nation. And then one of the one of the reporters responded, "Oh, you mean the Democratic Party that you're the head of?" Mm -hmm. And he got mad, and then he basically give him, and then goes to the next question. The problem is, here's the thing: is yesterday one of his people was supporting the thing, and he said it only it only hurts a minority of the people. And the guy said, uh, "Let's see, like my wife who lost her health insurance, my mother and father who lost their health insurance." And I, who basically have to provide my own insurance at the company I work for, because they'd already planned in the fact that they were going to get screwed, he oh. said, uh, "He said, don't expect help from people that you've just, you know, and I like that, that you just fucked up." Mm -hmm. That's basically they are really unhappy with this president and and the Democratic Party because never have you seen the language from the left on the left like it is. They hate this president. I mean. They're, they're, I mean, first of all, and like yesterday, well, one of, one of the financial reporters on the left left said, Did anybody want to bet that we have 8 to 9 percent economic growth before the next election? Mm -hmm. And there will still be, as people will still be unemployed, and, 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 and inflation, which doesn't exist, will just keep going up. He said that, uh, he said people, what it was, like the uh, college students yesterday, one of the things, he said, for some, okay, uh, this is what we basically, a white kid. He said, we're not black and we're not Hispanic. We're not stupid. And he meant it as a racist thing. We don't kiss people's butts like the like the black and Hispanics do the Democratic Party. And even they are starting to get the message. He said, Afro-Americans, they've been told, go through yourself because we got the Latinos. And the Latinos said, we don't like your system. And they're not going, here's a, they want a big kicker? It's basically meant to help Latinos who are here illegally. They're refusing to sign up for it because they don't, one, they don't have computers, and second, they don't want to be in the system. And the world is actually getting colder, which means man is responsible. I know. Okay, there. Global warming isn't actually happening like they said. So it, it is now global cooling, and global cooling is what we're, uh, and, and then here's the thing is, one of the people said that if we need if any of the people that talks about global warming or and global warming ever actually watched the programs that they have financed on, on public broadcasting or on the cable history on the in science channels, because they would know that we're coming out of the last ice age and that the last ice age ice ages have mood they have mood swings. And then the second fact 
that a volcano going off, a volcano puts more of the stuff in the atmosphere than all of the factories and automobiles in a year. Mm -hmm. One shot. And the world is actually getting colder, which means... I know she likes that oh, one. Well, because it's cold! We know it's cold. And Australia's top court overrules gay marriage in capital. Yeah, um, it, it just uh, this morning, okay, they said, Anthony, uh, oh, here's a judge that made a ruling that said that people have no right to vote on their own laws now. That basically, courts, oh, courts, our courts are basically democratically controlled courts in every state are ruling in favor of gay marriage. Mm -hmm. And what's happening is you're pissing off all of the other people. But the judge yesterday in Utah said, you know, that uh, I agree with uh, Anthony Scalia's minority dissent uh, when he said that by allowing, by opening the doors on the Defense of Marriage Act, basically if you want to go marry your dog, you can now marry your dog because they can't prevent it from happening. Mm -hmm. Because they're saying that you cannot that if you really love someone, that's all that counts. Oh, we love Monty. I know, Monty came out. Monty went out the back door and came in the front, which uh -huh. I love that. And Bacchus to China, uh, the politics of Senate control. Yeah, well, what's happening is Obama has this weird idea. Bacchus is unpopular in his state, so we'll, uh, we'll have somebody that's popular take his position as senator and we'll give him an ambassadorship. And then uh, it will move, and then we have another senator that's unpopular. We're going to appoint him to a cabinet post, and we'll have then their, sen their, their senator, uh, then it'll be replaced by a popular person in the Democratic Party. And because they are the incumbents, they will easily be able to win. And also by doing this, we move Mary Landrau, who is going to lose her seat regardless in Louisiana, because it is a red seat. She's going to, uh, we're moving her to the head of the energy, to, uh, energy in the, uh, in, in in the Senate, and that will because it's an energy state, they will automatically want to vote her. And they're trying to figure out. Let's see. The people that they're going to put move into their places all support Obamacare. The country hates Obamacare. They also they all support higher taxes. They don't want higher taxes. They're all anti-business, and they're going. To, but this is what was said yesterday. Not only are we going to take keep the Senate. We're going to remove six to seven Republicans and have a supermajority in the Senate. Ask the Senate, ask the 11 Democrats that are in trouble about having a supermajority. They're going to lose their seats. Mm -hmm. I mean, New Hampshire is ultra-liberal. New Hampshire has lost all its insurance agencies but one because of Obamacare. And e-cigarettes, a burning question for U.S. regulators. Oh, uh, okay, basically, Technically, e-cigarettes are, uh, are a device that you inhale and out of, but um, like I was talking yesterday, my, my youngest, little B, we used to buy her candy cigarettes and she, they're dipped in, in, um, in uh, confectionery sugar and when you wrap them, they have it in so you can puff it out. She, we would go by police officers and other people and she'd go, and they would get pissed and then she'd hold up the little thing and they'd get mad. But technically, that is against the law under, like in New York State, they consider it to be a crime to eat, to use candy cigarettes or candy cigars, so. And Senate Leader Reed released from hospital. Yeah, I find it coincidental that he went to the hospital exactly 30 minutes after the President of the United States briefed him that he was going to screw everybody in the Senate on Obamacare. And Microsoft's aggressive tablet strategy might finally pay off. No. Um, okay, I, I went to Best Buy to pick up a thing a couple of days ago because I, my my um, transformer on the power cord no longer worked on my on my laptop. Almost uh, you, we, uh, during when they, on their Black Friday thing of Saturday Monday, every you know they had armies of these ta uh, things to give away. I mean to sell at low prices. Half of them are still sitting. They're sitting on shelves now. Before they had them locked, in, you know, locked up. Now, because they were so unpopular, they're there on shelves with markdowns on them. The people just oh, they are. Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, just because something says it's good doesn't mean it's good, as we can guarantee with our stuff. So.